Okay, number 14. Um, we're supposed to find the radius, but we are given the sector area. So back in the day when we were working with arc length, I told you, anytime you saw that partial length, that arc length involved in a problem, we were going to do part over whole, and I abbreviated it this way, is equal to part over whole. Um, and I'm going to tell you the same thing now, except instead of arc length, we're talking about sector area. Anytime sector area is involved, this partial area of the circle, we are again, again going to do part over whole equals part over whole. Um, but um, just like last time, on the right hand side, uh, this is degrees. Okay, but on the left hand side, um, this is going to be area. So partial area divided by the whole area instead of partial length divided by the whole length. So it's pretty much the same as what you already know. Um, so here we go. So looking at this problem, I always like to set up the degrees side first because it's usually the most obvious. Partial degrees, whole degrees. Especially since the total degrees never changes. That's always 360. Now looking at this picture, the partial degrees, 98. It's right there. So we're, we're halfway finished with this equation and it's been two seconds. Now, um, for this one you have to always be careful because there's two different kinds of area and we have to pay attention. To if, if they're giving us some number, is that number the partial area or is it the whole area? Well, looking at this arrow that they have pointing specifically at the blue shaded thing and considering, um, da -da -da -da. well, yeah, I guess that's what we have to go by. This air, this arrow is pointing to the blue part, so this number that they're giving us right here is just the sector area, the partial area. So this 40.62 goes in the top, part over whole, this is the partial. Um, so what we are finding is the whole area. And uh, okay, I get that they called this capital A, but um, here's what I encourage you to do. Anytime you're dealing with the partial area, um, you could either call that X or you call that lowercase a. I usually call it lowercase a for the partial area and capital A for the whole area of the whole circle. So this, um, back looking at problem number 13, that would be a lowercase a. All right, this all these are lowercase a's. Okay, so capital A, let's use that to be the whole area. So even though they asked us for the radius, um, the first thing we have to find is the whole area. Then we can use that to find the radius in the second step. 98 over 360, let's see if we can reduce that. So 98 over 360. All right, doesn't reduce a whole lot. 49 over 180. Okay, so I've got this 40.62 over area of the circle equals 49 over 180. Um, time to cross multiply. Now I've got decimals and everything, so um, I'm just going to deal with the decimals. But So 49 times A as I cross multiply. So I'm going to have 49A equals. Now going this way, I'm multiplying 180 times 40.62. And I get 7,311.6. Alright, good. So far I didn't have to do any rounding yet. Um, now I'm going to divide by 49 on both sides. So dividing by 49, okay, how much space do I have down here? A little bit more. So I'm back to the calculator. I can just go divided by 49. Okay, now I'm going to have to round. Uh, no, no choice about it. Okay, so I've got 149.22. Let's go ahead and round that up. 
Okay, so the area is 149.22. Now, remember, this is not the final answer. So I have to look back and realize that I am being asked to find the radius. So I can use this area to find the radius, but I have to do it in the following way. Um, okay, I'm going to have to wrap this around though. I'm going to start with, since I have the area now, let's use the area formula. So area is equal to pi times the radius squared. Um, since now I have the area, I can just take that and put it in. So this is going to be 149.22 is equal to pi r squared. So now it's just like previous problems that we've done. Um, to get r squared by itself, we will divide both sides by pi. Okay, so I'm just going to go divide by pi, divide by pi. All right, and then I'm going to wind up taking the square root, but I'm going to recopy this. So, so now I have 149.22 over pi is equal to r squared but then I need to take the square root of both sides to get r by itself. So that's going to give me that the radius is, let's see, square root of 149.22 over pi. Okay, so there it is. And that is 6.89. That is my radius. Okay. Um, let's see, what are the units? Inches. All right, so that is how you do number 14.